Hi, so for all those people who just want me to finish this, get it on the roof, show that it works so they can copy it, it's going to drive them mad. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but what can you do? Uh, I personally think you've only got yourselves to blame because um, if you didn't make such good comments and suggestions, I would just plough ahead, really. But of course, I listen and think and I have a look at what it is that I'm doing and compare it to what people have said. And I wanted to take an opportunity to actually make a change because I was thinking about lots of aspects of, of what we'd actually built. So let me give you a better view of it. Okay, you can see I've removed these baffle plates. Now these baffle plates were never intended really to direct the wind. They were in fact just part of the structure. But um, I noticed a slowing down. It was harder for the thing to get going. It was um, slowing down. A lot of people were saying those baffle plates are actually an obstruction more than anything else. And if I didn't angle them properly so it fed the air in, then I was reducing the efficiency. And I kind of agreed with that. So what I did was remove the baffle plates. Now the baffle plates, like I say, were there structurally to keep everything square when it was in the wind. And of course, removing them means I've got another issue, really. How do I keep everything square? Because they were holding the roof on and now there's no roof. Well, I had what I think is a bit of a brainwave, to be honest. Now you remember this thing turns on the central axle, but the magnets are here. Well, what I've done is I've taken some of these things casters and I've basically made this into a massive lazy Susan. Let me give you a look at that. So you can see that there are three casters in place and, and quite a firm post in the center there so the thing turns on those casters. Now I did think about using a circular um, bearing that you get, you can get an industrial type that is very similar to Lazy Susan bearings, but will take something like 100 and 150 kilograms, something like that. But I still wanted to keep in the spirit of recycling things, which is why I've used these casters. Now the casters don't actually rest on the base, they just touch the base, because that central post carries the weight, or most of the weight, of the actual turbine. Remember the turbine weighs 19 kilograms in total. So those casters actually just stop it wobbling backwards and forwards, which is what the main structure did. And if I spin that, and you can see that the amount of wobble there isn't actually that great. So having done that, of course, what we've got to do is take it into the car park and see whether it'll spin or not. So it spins quite nicely. It starts spinning again at about 1.82 meters per second and you can see me measuring the wind speed around. So I measured around the whole device and at different points in the car park to see what kind of wind speed it was actually seeing at each point. And when it was buzzing around it was about 3 meters per second, something like that. Now the reason I do it in the car park obviously is because I'm still working on it. And it's a lot easier to work on when it's on my bench and troll down to the car park than if I stick it on a roof and climb up and down the roof every day. So it's going to be in a car park for a little while. I did think about getting a zip-up tower actually. But anyway, that's where we are with it. Now a friend of mine, Sid Sykes, is going to send me a whole load of um, microwave oven coils and they, they apparently are arriving on Thursday or so. So that's a very exciting event because I can recoil the whole thing and really get... <laughs> try to satisfy those people who just want to see something finished. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you because uh, I personally found it interesting. Um, the idea of the casters making a Lazy Susan or even a professional bearing, I mean the professional bearing of the size we need would only cost £49, um, would be a good thing if you were thinking about doing something similar like this. Uh, Turner make them actually, it's Turner bearings here in the UK. I think it's Rockwell in the USA make the same kind of bearing. but. I thought, as I say, I would share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.